how did you feel when uh, the Greek broadcaster told you come here and do you, we want you to represent Greece at Eurovision? I'm uh, very surprised but very honored. Um, it's such a huge uh, responsibility and I just feel very honored that such a responsibility was entrusted to me um, and that they believed in me so much, they granted me um, complete artistic freedom to do what I want, you know, what I know how to do and I'm just very grateful. So your song is about? My song is about loving yourself first and foremost, uh, not following any conventional paths, you know, what other people want from you, you know, just listening to what you want, embracing your true self, and once you find that better love for yourself, then you can establish in your relationships with other people, and I think, I mean, to me, that's the key to a, a better world, really. So, the song was produced in UK? UK? In, in London, right? yes. In London? Yes. Uh, are you living there, or you have any no, connection? No, I don't, I don't live there, but I... I travel there a lot, and uh, I, I've worked there a few times, yes, I love going to London. The style of your song is uh, completely different from previous Greek countries, because it doesn't it's have true. a Greek sound. Exactly. So on. How do you think it's going to work? Do you think that people um, will like it more than folk, or what's your view? I right? don't, I mean, so far the feedback has been really incredible. Uh, I mean, beyond e any expectation. So, I mean, that to me is really important. It's really moving. And I I hope that, um, you know, we we just do the song justice on that stage. Why do you think your song is uh, a contender for Eurovision? A song? Yeah. A song, why? Why do, why do I think yeah. that it's strong? Well, I think that it has a very powerful message. And I think that visually, um, we have our own aesthetic. And it's something that doesn't... Um, doesn't it's not reminiscent of any other entry. Uh, it's different, so I think that's what people have appreciated it. Are you planning to release any CDs or all bones after Eurovision? Of course. Uh, my priority is to work on my next EP. Um, I have my songs ready. I mean, in a demo form. So I'm just gonna get in the studio and for the final production as soon as possible. Great. Can you send a message for our readers? Of course. Uh, where uh, ESC, ESC Plus. Plus. So to all the readers of ESC Plus, I'm Karin Duska. Thank you all so much for your support, and I hope you keep supporting till the end. All my love.